What's up everyone? Exos is here. I'm going to show you guys my ThinkPad collection. You guys get to see which ones that are rare, which ones that are uncommon, which ones that are just hard to get. And then we also got some old models going on too. Those ones are going to be hard to find also because, well, everybody either threw them away, recycled them, or, you know, just left them in the basement to be flooded upon. So yeah, I'll show you guys all my favorite ThinkPads, which ones I actually don't like, which ones I just have just just to keep, and which ones I actually really like to get. Before I start the video, let me just give out some shoutouts. We got one going to the X220 Sniper Dude. He got his laptop for $130. That's a great deal. I don't know if it has a hard drive or battery or, I don't know, maybe it doesn't even have a screen. But even then, it's still a pretty good price for an X220. And we also have a shout out going to the 600 owner. Your laptop could go on, on I was going to say MySpace. Your laptop could go on the internet and mine cannot because it's just so unbearably slow. I don't know what's going on with it. So yeah. Oh, and also shout out to that one guy that doesn't want me to do shout outs. Yeah, man. Shout out. Oh, well, I presume it's a guy. Shout out to you, bro. We're going to start with the beginning. This is my X61 tablet right here. This, not this model, but I had gotten this as my first laptop ever. I just built a desktop maybe like six months or before I bought this. And I have to say that this machine is probably like the most I get attention when I take out. Mainly because it was at a time when swivel tablet screens weren't that popular. So whenever I'm on this, everyone thinks I'm doing like crazy business or, go or something going on. Because it comes with a pen. So I'm, I'm always messing up with Photoshop. It's always fun to use. Um, I have to say though that this thing does get a little bit hot. Um, there's a the Wi-Fi card in here and it's uh, it's pretty bad. You guys have to do the Middleton BIOS to get to move the whitelist on it. And then you got to get a cool running uh, Wi-Fi card. I think the uh, Intel 6200 is pretty good. But otherwise this is a pretty solid laptop. I got a 120 gigabyte uh, solid state drive going in here. I believe it's a Patriot Pyro SE or Patriot Fire, something like that. And I also got four gigabytes of RAM. Um, this one right here is a S S the uh, SXG <laughs> SXGA resolution model, or I should say SXGA plus. I don't know if you can tell, but there are some bubbles on the bottom of the screen and up top. Um, you don't get that with the X60. You only get it on the X61 because they put a new kind of glue on there for the digitizer so it could be nice and sensitive. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Mine isn't, mine isn't too bad. I haven't really been getting glue on my hands yet. But there there is some glue right there going on. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but earlier today I kind of messed up right there. It sucks. I'm also, I also am using a aftermarket battery. This thing is huge. The the regular battery goes maybe it's like that far in. But yeah, I was looking for a battery because my last one just crapped out out of nowhere. So I just found this on eBay and I bought it. It cost me 30 bucks. Um, I haven't started a house fire yet, so I think that's good. Um, otherwise, it, it's a pretty soft performer. And my favorite thing is that I get to hold my laptop like this. Probably the favorite reason why I have I like ThinkPads is that you can just hold your laptop I don't even know where the, where the camera's aiming at, but you can just hold it like this and just be, you know, be like, yeah, what's going on? Next laptop we have is the one that I am always on. It is my W700DS. This thing is massive. It's a 17 inch laptop. Oh my gosh, it's, it is freaking, it's freaking heavy. Right now I'm recording with Audacity, Audacity, whatever the hell it's called. And yeah, this thing is huge. Main reason why I got it, because it has a digitizer on um, right there. I don't know if you can notice, but I put a little bit of carbon fiber on there. It's, it's just vinyl. It's, nothing, nothing, it's not real carbon fiber. Oh my god. <laughs> There's also a number pad here. This is probably one of the only ThinkPads that has a number pad other than the, the recent, uh, what is it, 15-inch uh, W540 and T540. Well, I lied. The uh, e the 15-inch uh, E-Series has one also. The main reason why I got this thing was that it has a second screen. Oh yes, two screens on here. 
This was probably my most expensive ThinkPad. I, I never, I never even thought I was gonna get one of these. This is like the price of like a used car. Like these things are seriously expensive. Like I think they were about like uh, six thousand dollars when they were new. No ThinkPad collection is complete without an IPS screen model. This right here is the uh, T43P. This is a 15 inch WXGA model. Let's see if I get the brightness going on on this thing. Oh, never mind. This is as bright as it gets. Anyways, uh, this is a beautiful screen. You have wide, wide viewing angles. I don't know if you could see like that or like that. If you wanted to show some videos to somebody and you know, you have like, you know, it's you, the other person and somebody else maybe wants to come see, get an IPS ThinkPad because you don't have to worry about moving the screen up or back or down like this all the time, all that crap. Um, performance wise, this isn't really, it's a bit, not that, I mean, I have like the most powerful Pentium, uh, and processor on this thing, but it's just, I mean, if you're, if you're going to be doing a lot like desktop work, like, you know, writing Word documents, photo editing, yeah, it works great. But when it comes to online, Flash is like a definite killer. This thing struggles hard on, um, right, I have a, what is it, elementary OS on here. And I was getting, I was thinking about using Windows 7, but the drivers are like all funky and wonky. I was a bit afraid of using Windows XP. I somehow get viruses all the time. So I got Elementary OS and Minitube works really good on this. Next up is a kind of special laptop I have. It's an X300, but it has a glossy bezel around it. And also it says S70 on there. I saw this on eBay and I didn't even know what kind of ThinkPad this was. S70. I never, I don't know, I know there's an S30 and an S31. And there's also an S430. Uh, I looked back here and it says stuff like sit only, Kodachi. Seeing that made me find out that when the X300 was being made, that there was, this was the, uh, you know, prototype of it. So, Kodachi means in Japanese it means what does it mean again? It means uh short sword or long no short katana. It means yeah. So it is very thin as you can tell. I got some little black things on there. The only thing that sucks is that this thing doesn't have a dock, dock connector, and its performance is really, really bad. Um, I was using Windows 7 on here and I couldn't even like game on it. I felt I was, it's, it actually, it's actually worse than my X61 tablet. And I mean, my X61 tablet is a great laptop, but the low voltage CPU on this thing is just horrible. And it, since it has integrated graphics, uh, -uh. so now I have Crunchbag running on this thing. I do have to say though that this has probably one of the best keyboards out of all the ThinkPads, at least in the recent generation, I should say. Um, I absolutely love typing on this key on this keyboard. What's cool about that is this is that it has these little little indents on here for the page for the page back and page forward. I don't see these ever on any other ThinkPads. I don't know if the new ones have them, but it feels great. You got the little LED indicator lights over here. Those are pretty neat. Um, what else we got going on? Oh yeah, and then you have indicators right here too see turn this on oh yeah it's pretty cool that little blue light turns on I like things pretty sweet the only thing that sucks is that the view angles aren't that aren't that great but I, I since I went with my x61 tablet with the sxga plus screen I cannot go back to xga it's so hard and since a lot of the laptops nowadays are 16 69 16 by 9 what is it x x w x g a they suck. But anyways, this is my favorite taking take anywhere laptop. I love typing on this thing. It takes uh, 1.8 inch uh, drives. I have an SSD in here. Uh, I have like a it's either a Samsung or Intel. I can't remember. I just slapped it in here. I paid quite a pretty penny for this. Uh, these things, they they are probably like one of the best looking ThinkPads that you could get. Well, oh wait, well, let me shield for Lenovo. Actually, the uh, T440P is the best ThinkPad you can get. <laughs> oh my gosh. The X60, the, I'm sorry, the X1 Carbon ended up replacing this. 
there was a 13 inch X1 that was made and it is not, I mean, I kind of want to get it, but it has an HD screen. It doesn't have an HD plus screen. That is like a deal breaker. I can't, I can't go back down. I mean, 14 inch WXGAs I can kind of handle, but it has to be, it has to be a little bit something better than 720p. Also, I forgot to say is that the palm rest on this thing is fucking magical. It has, it's, it's not, it's, I think it's not made out of, it has like the, it might be made out of plastic, I actually don't know, but it has the, uh, finish of the ThinkPad lid. So typing on this thing feels great. And also, it also has some kind of drawbacks to the, the, uh, 600X, I believe, or 600 ThinkPad, which is a really nice ThinkPad. And also, this is one, probably one of the only ThinkPads I have that has a camera in there. Um, my W700DS wasn't, wasn't issued with one. I have a few parts laptops that I always mess around with, but as as my usables, I don't I don't I don't ever have it. But yeah, this thing this thing's even even despite its limitations, I actually like this one a lot. I like I would take this thing anywhere really. <laughs>